Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In this final episode in this three-part series, we're going to be modeling this final piece in the U-Joint project. All right, let's hop right to it. All right, first things first. What we want to do now is uncheck the last component for visibility, check the first component for visibility, and what we want to do here is create a copy. So we select copy or control C, select the top of the tree and select paste new. Okay. We'll just go ahead and click. Okay. All right. This is what we're going to be working with. So we can turn off visibility for the first component. Make sure this third component is selected. We're going to be using this component and make some modifications as such. All right. First things first, let's go ahead and turn it over. I'm going to create a sketch on this face here. We're going to be using the projection tool. And so we're going to be selecting this outer edge, this edge, and this edge right here. Okay. Click OK. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm going to use the extrude tool. I want to select the profiles we just created. All right. We're going to drag it inward about nine, negative nine millimeters. Click OK. All right. Next thing we're going to do is going to be a little bit interesting. So we're going to create a sketch, but not really do anything. So we'll create a sketch. on this face and finish the sketch. All right. Now what we're going to do is use the extrude tool, select this face inside face and select the top. I want to select join. And now it's all one solid piece. Okay. And let's go ahead and add a fillet to this edge. I'm going to make it a 1.25 millimeter fillet. Click OK. OK. Now we're going to turn it around to the bottom. And create a sketch on the bottom face. All right. I'm going to use a center rectangle. I'm going to dimension it to be 12.62 millimeters. We're going to use the equal constraint tool to make both sides to all sides equal. OK. Now it's fully defined. Next, we're going to be using the extrude tool. We're going to extrude this profile about 17.8 millimeters. All right. Now, what we want to do here is rotate it. And we'll use the back. Doesn't really matter, but for the sake of this, uh, video, I'm going to use the back. I'm going to use the project tool. First of all, let's uh, go ahead and create a sketch, but we want the sketch to be on the, the back. So hit the X and Y, X, Z plane. Okay. All right. So it'll be directly in the center. We're going to use the project tool. We want to project this outline. Click OK. All right. Now we got something to work with. So let's go ahead and create a triangle. Just want to start on the inside. Drag it up, down, and over. Okay. All right. What we want to do now is give us some dimensions. So we're going to dimension from the center point to this point right here. We want it to be about 5.7 millimeters. We're going to dimension this edge, and we can make it about 4 millimeters. In this case, it doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to basically be fully defined. So go ahead and select this line in the bottom. Make this about 45 degrees. Foot sketch is fully defined. We can go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm going to use the revolve tool. Select the profile. Make sure you select the inside as well. The axis is going to be the Z axis. Operation is going to be set to cut. We're going to click OK. All right. Now, for the four edges here, we're going to give it a chamfer of about 1.25 millimeters. 
Oops, let me go back. Forgot to add the other edges. So just hit the control key if that happens. And just select the edges around. All right, and that's complete. Click OK. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and add some fillets to the remaining edges. You should have about nine edges selected. We're gonna make this 0.25 millimeters. Click okay. All right. So now we're gonna rotate it down. What we wanna do is create a sketch on this plane, which is gonna be the YZ plane. Okay. Zoom in a bit. Okay. Let's use the project tool. In this case, we only want to project this line right here. That's all we're going to need. Select that, click OK. All right, now we got something to build with. So I'm going to go ahead and create a horizontal line. Okay. And from this line, going up, we're going to create another vertical line. You can hit the check mark to complete it. Now that line, we want it to be a construction line. The one going vertical is gonna be construction. All right, now, what we wanna do is select a three-point arc, grab the edge or the, the point of that one line, select the intersection of this line, and there you have it. I forgot to turn off the construction line, so we can go ahead and correct that. Select, turn off construction. Okay, now it's a solid line. All right. Let's add some dimensions. Okay. So from here to here, or shall I say to this point, I'm just go ahead and start that over. Zoom in a bit more and go to this point, to this point, make this about three millimeters. Okay. All right. This line, I want to be about 1.35 millimeters. Okay. And this arc, I want it to be tangent to this construction line. Actually, I think it's already set up. Yes, actually it is. Okay. And then finally, what I want to do here is basically dimension this from this point to this line this is gonna be about three millimeters. I apologize, it should be 7.6. All right, go ahead and finish the sketch. All right. Now, I'm gonna use the revolve tool. Make sure that profile is selected. The axis we wanna select is gonna be itself. Actually, I take that back. Let me go ahead and correct that. It's going to be itself, but it's going to be this top. And then you're going to have a dome. Okay. It's going to be set to join. Click OK. Now we're going to use the mirror command. Okay. I'm going to select the feature that we just created. Okay. In the mirror plane, we want to be this axis right here, XZ. It's going to be up here on the other side. Click OK. All right. Now, the final piece, what we want to do is assemble the entire U joint. OK. All right. So let's go ahead and bring all the pieces together. As you can see, they're one on top of the other. You can just drag them out as you see fit. Let's just go ahead and start out with the first piece we created. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off visibility to the others. Okay. What I wanna do with this one is, I'm gonna go ahead, turn these off again. 
Okay. I'm going to go ahead, select this one. And I want to ground it. Okay. So I can't move it. All right. Let's work with the second component. Okay. Now for this component, I'm going to send, set it up as a joint. How I want this is I want this portion to fit directly in the center. Okay. All right. The motion, I want to be a revolute joint. All right. Now let's set this up. Okay. To make this work, what we want to do is set this up and we're going to make it go between two faces on both components. So starting out with this first component, let's just go ahead and select two faces because we want it to join here. Select this face, this face, select it again. All right. And now for the next component, which is this one, select this face, this face, and select the inside. And there you have it. Okay. Click OK. All right. Now for the bottom component, we make it visible. Deselect the top component. Okay. This is what we want to do again between two faces. So we'll select the bottom component. This face. And this face. Okay. We're going to go ahead and select. Okay. And this component. I'm going to select this face. And this face. And select the center again. And there you have it. Okay. Click OK. Let's go ahead and rotate these. Once we rotate it around, you can actually get it to stand up and look exactly like this. Now, if you want to keep it from rotating on top of itself, you can create what is called contact sets. So what we'll do is this. Enable contact sets. Okay. Create selection set. Or actually just left click and drag over and select collect contact with sets. It'll be all contact all. And basically what will happen is if you rotate it, it won't be able to rotate on top of itself. So they'll actually bump into each other so they won't overlap. Okay, well that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this series and I'll see you in the next one.